are we? Happy? I'm just trying to think when you guys will be seeing this. You'll be seeing this actually on the first weekend of December, which is so exciting. I feel like December is sometimes a little bit bittersweet because it's like, I love it so much, but it just goes so quickly and I'm just like, come back stay i hate how quickly it goes i just i oh, just want it to be christmas every blooming day as i was putting my hair up i could smell this really lovely scent and i was like is that me and i know exactly what it is so i washed my dressing gown yesterday with the rose winterland lenore fabric softener the mrs hinch one and oh my goodness it smells absolutely incredible you know sometimes you do put fabric softener on and it, it really just doesn't make a clove smell well this one i can literally oh that smells so nice speaking of nice smelling things if i reach down by the side of my toilet i popped this one in the bathroom yesterday this one is the vanilla cookie febreze little bathroom scenty thing and literally all you do is you push in this blue button pop it in your bathroom and it smells so so good especially the christmas ones if you saw my last vlog you would have seen that i received an amazing pr package from febreze full of all of their christmas scents um but yeah you can get these in b&m but they smell so 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 good it's so nice to just have them by the toilet in the bathroom for um you know those Bad smells, what am I talking about? So after vlogging last weekend, it was honestly just so nice to have you all with us. I thought I'm gonna do it again this weekend. Just popped on a little bit of the Elemis skin buff because I'm at that stage where I'm trying to scrub off my fake tan. So every single morning, I just use a little bit of this um, for a good few days just to make sure that I get it all off before I go ahead and apply again. And this is the best exfoliator ever. Um, it's really, really coarse, which is nice. So it really does get in there and just scrub everything off. So if you are living in the UK, you will know we've been in a little lockdown. And this week, I think it's on Wednesday the 2nd, um, we actually get to go out again. <clears throat> I'm really, really looking forward to just taking a little trip to town and doing some actual Christmas shopping that isn't online shopping. Just this year in general really has, as much as it has been like such a weird year, it's really, oh, I've got some hair on my nose. It's really made me just take a step back and do you know what? I appreciate the little things in life so much more now and i actually feel so much happier for that and by little things i mean tiny things like getting into bed after a hot shower and morning cup of coffee just tiny little things so as you can see i'm starting my weekend with a little bit of self-care um it's currently saturday morning what time is it 10 past nine i've actually just got a really lovely chilled cozy christmasy weekend and i just thought it'd be really nice to have you all with us again this weekend so this is the mask that i spoke about in wednesday's vlog and it's the goddess skin clay mask by charlotte tilbury and do you know what this is a really nice gentle mask i said on wednesday it's a nice kind of morning mask where you just want to give your skin a little bit of a boost and you want it to just look glowy and almost airbrushed it's amazing to pop on before makeup as well so whilst my face mask is on I'm actually gonna give my teeth a little bit of a top up today. As you guys know, I always, always, always use the spotlight whitening strips, which come in a little pouch like this. And before I actually got composite veneers on my top teeth, I used a two week course of these and they literally transformed my teeth. So at the moment, I am just using these on my bottom teeth just to maintain the whiteness and just to keep them as white as my top teeth. So in your little pouch, you get two strips, obviously the longer one is for your top teeth and the shorter one is for your bottom teeth. And all I do is leave these on for one hour per day. You can pop them on, pop a face mask on, have a nice bath or pop them on whilst you're doing some chores around the house or whilst you're doing your makeup. They are toxin free, palm oil free and also they're founded by dentists so they're going to be really, really safe for your teeth. Also, if you choose to do the two week course, you can purchase the whitening system which comes in a little box like this and inside you get this cute little pouch filled with 14 of the teeth whitening strips and you also get in here as well the whitening toothpaste which me and jamie use every single day honestly the nicest toothpaste i've ever used and it just keeps your teeth looking really really bright and white and like they feel super fresh as well i also use every single day 
my sonic toothbrush which i absolutely love this honestly just feels like you know when you've been to the dentist and you've had like a polish and clean whenever you brush your teeth with the sonic toothbrush it feels like you've just come back from the dentist like it really does leave your teeth just feeling so fresh so the toothbrush actually comes with three separate heads a travel case and also a little charger as well and the great thing about this toothbrush is it actually has a two minute timer which is so good and it also has three it's got a little bit of water on it three different settings here so each one oh god water just went all over the shop one as you can hear is slightly different so you can really customize the way you brush your teeth as well there's a clean setting a white setting and a sensitive setting i usually always have mine on clean because i feel like it's the most powerful setting and i don't know about you but first thing i do when i wake up and last thing i do when i go to bed is i like to just give my teeth a really good brush and just make sure that my mouth is feeling really really clean if you are looking to whiten your teeth from home and i feel like now is perfect as well because if you do the two-week course you'll have super white teeth for christmas which would be amazing so yeah if you are looking to whiten your teeth from home i would highly highly recommend these spotlight teeth whitening strips like i said you can get a 14 day course and you get your free toothpaste um as always i'll leave a direct link in the description box below and i'll also pop my discount code down below as well my plan for now is i'm going to pop on my teeth whitening strip first of all you need to dry your teeth <laughs> <laughs> super simple and the best thing about these as well you do develop a little lisp but that's fine um the best thing as well is they really stay in place they don't kind of like slip all over your mouth i know in the past when i've used whitening strips years ago they sh they like slip around your mouth and it's horrible but these really do just stay in place and then once they've been on an hour you just take them off give your teeth a good brush and yeah in 14 days you will have such such white teeth so yeah i'm gonna go and get ready for the day and like i said i'll leave a direct link for spotlight in the description box below so i'm just finishing getting ready for the day and discovered a really really quick easy makeup that just kind of gives your face a bit of a i don't know a bit of a zhuzh um woke up this morning feeling and looking a little bit like quasimodo so i thought today i'm gonna put a little bit of makeup on and really so quick and easy but i haven't got any foundation on all I do is put loads of moisturiser on so my skin is feeling nice and moisturised. Then I pop a tiny little bit of the NARS, I think this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in shade Light 2.8. And I literally just pop a tiny little bit under my eyes and also like anywhere on my skin that looks a little bit uneven. I'm in the process of scrubbing my tan off, as you can see, my skin is so patchy at the moment. And sometimes tan like clings to bits of my face, so it like clings around here. So I just popped a little bit down here as well. Conceal it in the places that I feel like I need it. Then I pop on a load of my favorite bronzer ever, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. This is honestly so nice. It's so creamy. So it's not really like a powder, if that makes any sense. It's just very creamy. And I just kind of like brush over my whole face with this really big soft brush. So I just go over my full. I should have actually done like a mini get ready with me now. But if you would like to see sort of how I do just like a really minimal makeup and make your face just look a little bit more alive, I'll pop that in my next vlog. But I just use this big like fluffy brush and just dust it all over my face put a little bit more on my forehead, a little bit more on my jawline and my cheeks. And then this is where I'm like, I only used three products and then I'm reading off like 20. I used my favorite Cali Kissed Smashbox palette. And I always use this blusher. It's honestly just like the most beautiful, peachy. If you have one of those days, you know where your skin just feels a little bit like, it just needs a little bit of a pick me up popping a tiny little bit of blusher here and like blending it up i don't know i feel like it just really does transform your skin and it lifts your cheeks and then i popped on a little bit of mascara i used the nars climax mascara which is really 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 lovely it doesn't clump um or make all your eyelashes stick together and then for eyebrows i have been absolutely loving my new products from refi and the two that i use is i use the brow sculpt which looks like this this is almost like the benefit 24 hour brow setter but it's a little bit softer and then i also use the refi brow pencil in medium just to kind of fill them out a little bit more here because i do have a little 
a little bold patch in my eyebrow um, so I just filled that out and then used this brush just to really keep them in place but that's pretty much all I did and then for lipstick I used the Doll Beauty Double Baked and it's this really nice just like I feel like it's a nice nude. It's not lilac-y, it's not pinky, it's just a really nice natural nude. So, our plan for today is... What are we doing today? Hey. What are we doing today? What are we doing today? Yes! It's a big secret. We're going camping. We're going camping in the living room. We're building a bloody Christmas fort! I showed Jamie this video from TikTok. <gasps> How cool is that? So we're going to make that, but we're going to make it like a Christmas kind of version. So we're going to get festive cheese board bits and we're just going to chill out in and our fort. Oh, and have a massage as well. Never massages me. Just doing it with <laughs> bloody camera. You never massage me. I bought you a neck and back massager. No. I went to a car actually. He gave me a massage. This big machine, like with a machine. Big gun. Yeah, it's like a, it had a ball on the end of it. And it goes in and out. Oh, I didn't know it was with a machine. Yeah. Um, Who the hell's that? What? Trust Jamie to pick up a mascara. It says climax. Jamie cooked last night, um, which was incredible. What did you make? Sticky, sticky pork. Uh, oh, it's teriyaki pork. Was it? Yeah. Sticky pork and rice, and then you really wanted dessert after, didn't you? We ordered dessert. Oh yeah, so we ordered a dessert. On Just Eat. On Just Eat, and like 45 minutes later. By this point it's like half 10 as well. Ian's Isis decided to cancel it. So they got a bad review from Jamie. Not happy. But then, he went back oh, on Just Eat. What's his name? Tony's Isis. Oh yeah, Tony, to Tony's dessert. <laughs> Tony's Isis pulled through, didn't he? So Just pulled up in his ice cream van out the front. <laughs> We had no idea. We thought it would just be like a normal delivery guy. We had this oh. van outside and it was an actual ice cream man. Like making them up, like outside. <laughs> we Bear heard it up and I was like, it's an ice cream van. 11pm. <laughs> right. You ready? Hi ho, hi ho. It's off to being Here we go. So typical Gemma has made a detailed list of things that we need. So from B&Q we need wood, rope, sheer curtains, sewing kit crates, material to put over the crates and then also I want to see if they've got a cup rack because I just think that would look really cute in the kitchen um, to hang my millions of Christmas cups on. Jamie said I'm not allowed to buy any more but I bought some more this morning because Christmas cups are just, they're my everything and I love them so much. Um, and then we need to go to the range to get some like leafy things to put over it but that's not really essential. Um, I feel like it would still look cute without those. Also need to pop to M&S and get all the cheese board bits, but also need to get, I need to remember to get some cranberries. And I'm hoping there's like some Christmas snack things. You need to find some like Christmas shaped crackers or crisps, like little Christmas trees and stuff. as excited as I feel right now to show you the new in Christmas bits from M&S. So, this is all for our cheese board. <laughs> it looks like a cheese board for an actual family, but no, just for me and Jamie. But if you are looking to do like a Christmas cheese board, they have so many lovely Christmas cheeses. Remember last year they had the little Santa hats, which were incredible, but they were actually sold out of those. But they've got loads of new ones this year. So I picked up a Wednesday dough with cranberry and orange. Then I also got this luxury truffle filled brie, which we're both very excited to try. I got some normal brie just in case this one isn't very nice because I thought I love brie so much and I would be absolutely gutted if this one wasn't, didn't live up to its delicious sounding name. Then I also picked up these. 
Christmas cheese snowflakes. These ones are Wensleydale with cranberry and these ones are Wensleydale with apricot, which look so yum. And I just think they are so, so cute. Then for chutneys, I picked up this cranberry and port chutney because I thought it was a little bit festive. Tilly's just, <gasps> oh God, she loves these bags. Hello. Hello. Then the other chutney that I got was this spiced apple and pear one. I love fruity chutneys with cheese. I think it's a really, really nice combo. Then, oh my God, look at these. Tortilla stars. Then I also picked up some red grapes, some white grapes, some strawberries, some sugar drop tomatoes, which I've never actually tried, but thought they sounded nice. And also some fig. I also got some apples and some little pears as well. And I also got some biscuits for cheese, just a little selection. My favorite one, as you guys know, is the digestive. Then I also got another absolute favorite thing, honey roasted cashews. I feel like if I had to choose one food to eat for the rest of my life, it would potentially be these. Another new thing I found in M&S are these milk chocolate and cinnamon tortillas. How amazing do they look? Crunchy cinnamon sugar tortillas, half coated Belgium milk chocolate. Oh, they look absolutely amazing. Then I also got just a selection of cured meats. Um, I didn't actually choose these. I think these may have been from the person's basket behind me that might have just like slipped over the little trolley divider. But good job, I love grilled peppers because I seem to have purchased some of those. And then I got some velvet hummus to keep in the fridge because this is just such a nice little lunch to have with pita or to have with cucumber or carrot sticks. Um, then, oh my God, something I've been so excited about. <laughs> Christmas kitchen roll and toilet roll. I don't think I've ever been as excited as I was when I found this. I can't believe they have Christmas toilet roll. I'm excited to make the bathrooms very festive. And I also picked up an M&S Christmas food book. It's time to plan the fort. All of our fort supplies. Right, what are, what are your thoughts? What, what are your thoughts for the fort? Wow. What are you seeing? You're right, Stormzy. A frame. Two A frames twined together. Yeah. So no screws. Yeah, we didn't get screws. We're going to use the string instead because we thought it'd be easier for anyone else to make without faffing yeah. around with screws. Yeah, because no one likes using a screwdriver either. Normally just use like an impact driver. The TV. So we need. We want the tree and the TV in it. So perhaps. Maybe move that there. That well, perhaps move that along that way. So, all Jamie did was, what did you do? Oh, I just lashed together a reef knob. Not really. <laughs> Made like an A-frame and then just sit it on top. And the same this end. But this one isn't fixed yet. Oh, okay. So what oh, is... so basically just made two crosses. Yeah. And then put one across the top That's and it. then attach it. That's really easy peasy. Jamie a little festive snack of the little tortilla stars. How cute are these? Love them so much and a little bowl of hummus and also a little reward beer. This might be Tilly's new favourite den. Oh no because she loves it in curtains doesn't she like the dining room curtains. <laughs> look look. Oh no. <laughs> she goes crazy. She goes crazy in them and like spins around. Okay, it's time. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Little John. <laughs> Little John on the Usher song where he's like, Usher, Usher, Usher. Let's go. Okay, here we go. 
And again! <laughs> okay! It is officially time for one of my favourite Christmas traditions, which is looking through the M&S Christmas food book. We've already done Waitrose and I feel like Waitrose and M&S are the top places for like your real special Christmas food. Um, okay, so there's a luxurious salted caramel brownie cream made with fresh cream from the, dunno, something, something. Oh, it's a liqueur. Oh wow, I guess that's like a Bailey's. It's, it's a salted caramel brownie Bailey's. That looks really, really yum. Oh, look what's on the back. Wow. What is that? Peppa Pig. Of course. Peppa Pig cupcakes. Peppa Pig. Percy Pig. Wow. Those yum nuts, so good. Oh my god, if you haven't tried the yum nuts from M&S, they're basically like Waitrose yum yums and they're like really thin like bits of pastry. They're absolutely delicious. This is literally my ideal Saturday. We've got winter spice candles burning, looking at the M&S Christmas food brochure by the tree whilst a Christmas fort is being built. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than that. Christmas Colin. Oh, I love him. Definitely need to get him. They've got loads of really nice desserts this year. Oh my goodness, Jamie, look at this camembert. A little bit busy making the tent right now, Gemma. At the top, here where my thumb is. Oh, wow. It looks so nice, What's doesn't that? it? The yes. camembert, but it's got pastry. like bread. Yeah, it's got like pastry around the outside, so I guess it's like, you know the <laughs> share and tear ones where you rip a bit of this off and you dip it in there? Oh my god, yum. Look at all the cheese. Wow. What is that? So it is... Tear and share. Tear and share handcrafted cheese puff pastry with molten camembert. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, I saw these in there as well. These are musical um, tins and they're only five pounds. I think that would make such a lovely little present. I actually saw these in M&S today. it looks <gasps> do you know what it's so much more magical than I actually thought it was gonna be so I pulled the Christmas tree from over there to a little bit closer because I felt like it was kind of in the background so we moved that lit some candles <gasps> basically this cannot be a tutorial of how to make this because it actually turned out to be a lot more stressful than we could have ever imagined um, and it was kind of falling over so it's kind of just propped to it's very 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 delicate and then at the back as well if you are going to do this make sure that you buy really 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 wide um, curtains because if I could change anything about it it would just be that these are slightly longer so they kind of drape over the sides I mean it's not the end of the world and it still looks unreal but if you do do this it is worth just getting like really really long curtains or even getting like four of these I know we only got two um, but I think if you kind of planned it ahead a little bit and got them from like eBay or Amazon you could get them so much cheaper so I'd say get four of these and then put two each side just so they're really 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 drapey but how cute does it look? And we also just added a sheet at the back as well, which, let me go around and show you. <laughs> I had to compromise slightly and tie it on with a hair bubble. Um, so just because it looked a bit weird that the end was kind of open. And then as you can see, we moved the TV, which was pretty easy. Got these little lights from B&M and kind of just draped them on the outside of the tent which is really good actually because they're wire um, 
you obviously can't really see the wire and they kind of look like they're just floating so it looks really pretty and then inside i just let me take you inside actually oh my god i just added these little christmas cushions i just popped down this little teddy I think this is a mattress liner that I bought by mistake once thinking it was a duvet cover. I was going to throw it out but I thought, Do you know what, one day I'm going to need that and this was the day. So I got that on there for a bit of padding and then cosy throw to put over us later but it's honestly so cute in here and I love that you can see the Christmas tree through it as well. When the cheese board is made and everything, I was going to pop these in here as little tables like this. So we can pop the cheese board on there. But look how cute it looks. Oh, I love it so much. Right, cheese board time. And then we can enjoy our tent for the evening and watch a nice little Christmas film. We've got our little cheese board, got our wine, and then over here we have our little Christmas tortilla stars. She's just woken up from a nap. <laughs> this is the first time she's properly saw the tent. She's been asleep in her little bowl for literally hours we have just finished our cheese board we watched christmas chronicles 2 which was so so cute feeling very christmasy and cozy but now it's time for something very 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 exciting which is letterbox spores i'm literally so excited so inside your box you get marshmallows you get matches you also get these delicious looking biscuits that have got chocolate either side so obviously like your s'mores are going to be incredible because you put the marshmallows in the middle so get your little skewers and the best part about this is you get this little pot of jamie what is this pot called i've completely forgot basically this pot makes fire so you can toast yeah. your marshmallows it's what it's like a fire lighting gel. It's a fire, fire lighting gel. gel. So, and it's glittery, Christmassy. So literally, you've got everything here to make s'mores without a fire, which is incredible. So, such a cute little box. I will leave Letterbox S'mores linked down below. So in case you are kind of planning a cute little date night at home, I think this is such a cute little thing that you can do. Why are you king marshmallow toaster? What did you mean? You're always so good at it. Mine just catch fire. <laughs> hey. Oh, uh oh. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god, yum. These look amazing. Are they nice? Mm -hmm. Wow, yum. Mm. I think I'm going to have to have another one. Mallow's on fire. So our plan is for now we're gonna head to bed and probably watch Bloodline shock horror. Um, literally our night routine. Do you know what? A tent is very cozy, very romantic and very fun, but not as comfortable as I remember as a child. I think it's because obviously if you're smaller, so yeah, we're gonna head to bed now because our backs are about to um explode. <laughs> it's actually so sore. The top of my back hurts from like leaning over like this. Good night. Oh, no. <laughs> That's at the end of vlogs, this isn't the end. Someone's taken quite a liking to the tent. Hello. Hello. Last night when I came down to turn these off, I glanced down and I could just see a little grey blob in the tent. You like it in there? Good morning everyone, happy Sunday. You are going to have to ignore how crazily patchy I look today, <laughs> look at my neck. <gasps> ah, 
literally this morning I had a boiling hot shower I had my exfoliating gloves on and I was scrubbing away trying to get the rest of my tan off so I can start afresh I usually try and do this on like Wednesday um, Tuesday and Wednesday so then I can have tanning Thursdays and be nice and bronze for the weekend but I don't really know what happened this week. I feel like I may have done two layers instead of scrubbing it off and starting afresh. So first things first, I need to get some salmon out the freezer because I will forget and then it will get to dinner time and well, our salmon will be frozen. I'm gonna cook us a nice healthy dinner tonight because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like the past few weeks we've just been eating so much crap to be completely honest, just unhealthy foods and too much cheese, too much chocolate. You know when you can feel it, like you feel sluggish. I wake up in the morning and I feel, that's actually really cold in there, just standing in the freezer. I feel just very sluggish. I just wanna feel healthy and alive. And wow, I look like Hagrid. So yeah, plan is gonna cook a nice healthy dinner tonight. And I mean, I was about to say I'm gonna try and be healthy now, but it's December, so it's kinda like, Am I gonna try and be healthy? Fill my water bottle up first. Don't mind me just talking to Tilly. Watch out! So plan for today is I just want to start sorting out the house. I've said for weeks now that oh, the house has just kind of got to the point where there's just so much stuff that it feels really overwhelming. Um, like every cupboard I go in, things are falling out. Every room I go in, there's just stuff. So yeah, I've decided I'm gonna start today we haven't really got many plans today and I hate not being productive. As much as I love the idea of like having a bed day watching Christmas films, the reality of it is that never really happens because I like to do something productive. So I think I'm gonna start, well, first things first, the tent in the living room needs to go down. As much as I'd like it to stay forever, um, it's just not very practical really, is it? We're gonna dismantle that, then the utility room needs sorting out. This is currently just a bit of like a storage room for me at the moment. Because I've just been getting so many Christmas presents delivered and buying ridiculous amounts of Christmas decor, I have just accumulated this mounds of stuff. Um, so I need to sort that out. I need to be really strict with myself today and throw lots of things out. And if I get enough stuff that I'm gonna throw out, I'm gonna take a little a little Sunday trip to the skip um Sunday goals but yeah and then I'm gonna do the kitchen cupboards because they are they're just a nightmare like honestly I'm a cup hoarder I am a cup hoarder and the cup cupboard it's just become actually unmanageable but that needs to be sorted the plate cupboard just everywhere I just need to have a big declutter so I'm gonna start downstairs kitchen utility room living room drawers and the little downstairs cupboard that is today's job and i know that i'm going to feel good after i've done it so that's my motivation and i thought you know what? i'm going to film it because that motivates me too and i thought if you have any jobs that you've been putting off for a really long time maybe this will motivate you too because i promise once you've done it you'll feel good right it's looking extremely done in here pop some little lights on all of my christmas lights also need to go on pop my little tree on don't you feel like once all of the christmas lights on or you've got like some little lamps on and stuff it feels so much cozier okay my loves it is time for a very very satisfying time lapse <laughs> It's Christmas A winter wonderland A snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year I don't know whether to be embarrassed or impressed with my candle collection. Um, it's official, I'm a hoarder. I look like um, the moon, but let's just ignore that. I'm just having one of those days. I need my hair done, I need my nails done, I need my tan done. I just need 
I need a bit of a transformation but today is just not not the day because we're still in lockdown but I have two personalities when it comes to like this one part of me is a hoarder who can't throw anything away because I am that person who's like one day I'll need that or it has some kind of sentimental value um not really any sentimental value but it will remind me of something cute and I'm like I can't throw it and then another part of me is like I am a minimalist I don't want any clutter and I kind of get to a point where I just want to throw everything into a skip and start afresh so yeah turns out I've got a bit of a candle addiction I mean that was no secret we all know I am a bit addicted to candles but I didn't quite think I had this many I think over this side we have the Yankee candle selection fire side treats pano raisin oh my goodness i'm pretty sure this one is actually discontinued and i started burning this one but then stopped because i realized it was discontinued and this is genuinely my favorite scent in the whole world um and i just i just can't burn it because it's my favorite and i know that i won't be able to get it again warm cashmere or calm and quiet place another one of my favorites they always have this in b&m for literally like 15 pounds then we've got a Christmas cookie. I need to start burning this one soon because this is the most festive scent. Then we've got some random little ones from Home Scents. Watching the holiday calendar, by the way. I saw this the other week and I loved it, so I've just got it on in the background, which is making me feel very Christmassy. With glimmering silver wine, you dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presents stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. Brand new bird for Tilly. I don't know what lies beneath in that cupboard, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wow. Let <laughs> me show this. Stock up on your pumpkin juice. It's pumpkin puree. Why? <laughs> Why have you got four tins? <laughs> what the fuck? When you open it and all you can see is like. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, that's for Tiff. I bought that for Tiff. Tiff, your pumpkin. Oh, it's a bit late now. Oh, it's still good for it though. I completely <coughs> forgot about it. Tidying update. So far, I've done the utility room, the the dreaded cupboard, which is like under the sink, which had like all Tilly's bits in and random cleaning bits. So I sorted that out. Um, I've done the little spice cupboard because that was stressful. Like every what's that? Oh, I love that doorstop. Where are you? Why don't you use it in here then? Next jobs are cup cupboard plate cupboard and then I'm done but I'm just kind of lagging a bit at the moment you know and you've done so much and you're like I don't want to do it anymore so this is Jamie trying to motivate me to um oh my Farah a brand new untouched compact I actually fire. want to start using that keep that out because I'll make room for that I completely forgot about that hey oh Hey! Oh! Ow! I bought this when we had the first lockdown, so I stocked up on, um... For the zombie apocalypse. Spaghetti hoops. <laughs> wow. And tin tomatoes and soup. Because <laughs> oh, cool. I thought, if anything happens, then I can always make stuff out of that. Yeah, yeah. Could have got something substantial. We can have spaghetti hoops and toast. Why do you get Because who eats spam? Well, I'll tell you what, when you're in the middle of the zombie apocalypse and... You're living I'd off of not, like... I'd rather eat hoops than spam. Yeah, but they're not nutritious for you, are they? Is spam? Of course it is. You've done such a fantastical job. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm here for. What was actually in that cupboard then? 
Just those cushions. You doing with this? Put it in the plate cupboard because we're going to sort that out next. Put it in the plate. No, we're not. We are. I've got stuff to do. Jamie, you haven't got anything to do. Prophets, not prophets. <laughs> One of the wise men. All right, then. You do you have gold frankincense on there? Oh, frankincense. Help Gemma clean the cupboard. They said. <laughs> It'll be fun. They said. <laughs> What's next door doing? They're scooting around. Oh, Jamie! Ah! Prisoner of war. <laughs> Oh, go on then. Look at these lovely god locks. Oh! Confirm Tilly likes her new bird. Oh. <laughs> Why is she in it? <laughs> right, so a few little updates. This cupboard is now done, which I'm actually so happy about, so thank you for doing that, darling. Out here is stuff that is to be thrown away. Um, God. Utility room is pretty much done. That just needs to be moved. These bits need to be cleared up. Oh my God, I forgot to show you. Yesterday when we were in B&Q, bought one of these to hang some cups on and I may have accidentally um, bought, oh my God, what do I look like? Wow. <laughs> Found that Astra have got some really cute Christmassy mugs and plates, so I bought some more. So I need to throw some out today to make room for the new ones. Um, so I'm picking those up at three o'clock. It is currently, what time is it? Half past one. So another thing that I've done is I've sorted the fridge out so it's kind of less chaotic, which makes me happy. Then I also did this cupboard here, which used to be a right mess. So now I've kind of got like little recipes, um, bits and bobs, herbs fry lights sauces salt and pepper and then i've just got a hello fresh meal in here bananas bread that can be like the fresh kind of section oh it's gonna go in my new baking basket baking carol basket <laughs> Hilda, husband she working and don't you dare even suggest throwing out my cat bowl with no ears i mean I'll tell you something, right? No, that's sentimental because Mum bought me it. Yeah, I know, but why did you, why did you smash the ears off of it then? You smashed the ears off. No. Yes, you did because you felt really guilty one day. I remember. Oh my god, one day as well. I don't know if I might have told this story before, but one of the cat ears was actually inside the bowl, <laughs> and I made some cereal, and I was like. And I thought it was a bone, didn't I? And I was like, oh my god, there's a bone in my cereal. And really, it was just one of the cat ears. Why would there be a bone in your cereal? Because of the texture of it was like, a, have you ever chewed a bit of china? I can't say I have, actually. It's like, a, it's like, you know, sometimes people... I'll take your word for it. it. It was like a bone. Like what I imagined a human bone to be like in my mouth. And why a human bone? Because we, we watch a lot of weird stuff. What's this for? Is one an egg? Ostrich egg. What for? Santa's boots. An espresso? No, you can have a cup of tea in there, a little mini one. <sighs> Finally, everything is all done. And I think you kind of forget just how good it does feel to be a little bit more organised. So I'm very, very, very happy. 10 to 3, so I'm going to head to Asda in a moment. And whilst I go to Asda, Jamie is going to pop to the skip. Um, skip? Tip? The recycling centre, actually, is the technical term. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> Hi. So, little update. This is to go to the recycling centre. Um, Jamie already has a car full, so we're going to try and squeeze these bits in. Ta-da! How much better does that look? So, it's a little bit more organised now, and then I've kept these cups out as well, because these are the ones that I'm going to use to pop on my little hooks, which I literally cannot wait for. I'm going to place these here as a little, little subtle hint. So when Jamie comes in the kitchen, I don't have to ask him again. He just goes, oh. Meant to be putting that up, aren't I? Sneaky. 
So I've just got back from Asda, just been to pick up the little bits that I ordered yesterday morning. Now, I never knew that Asda were actually part of well, I don't know if they're part of it, but they're associated with Walmart. So what you'll find is they have a lot of American kind of Christmas bits. Until I started following this really Christmassy um, Instagram page. Let me actually find out the name because honestly, it makes me feel so cozy. Instagram page is called Pint Sized Photo. It's very real. It's what actually inspired me to get the cup rack. And I also saw on quite a few of her reels that she had these adorable Christmas mugs. And I remember thinking she must have got those from America because they're just amazing. We all know America have amazing Christmas decor. And as I was going through all the comments, you know, when you're like frantically trying to find where something's from, I saw that she said it was from Asta and I was like, Asta, I'm gonna have a look online and oh my goodness, look at the bits that I picked up. <gasps> so this is just a little plate and I thought, how amazing would that be even just to go over there as like a little backdrop or I could use it for Christmas cookies. I just think it's so, so adorable. Makes me feel like I've been to Walmart. Makes me feel like I've been to Walmart or Target or something like that. I've never even been to those shops, but I've watched American YouTubers go to those shops and I'm like, why don't we have that stuff? It's a little teapot. Oh, oh my God, so cute. I thought what I could have in here is my lemon and ginger teas and I could make it in the morning and just keep pouring it throughout the day. I also think this makes a really cute ornament for the kitchen as well. Like Christmas pudding mug, how adorable is that? I love it so, so much. This Christmassy mixing bowl, which I just thought would be amazing for Christmas baking. Then I got these different sized little gingerbread cutters. I have already got some gingerbread cutters, but I haven't got any mini ones. And I just thought that'd look really, really cute if I were to make gingerbread and then make loads of different sized gingerbread men. And then I also picked up some mini gingerbread men. I thought these would be a nice little, nice little festive treat to pop on at some cozy drinks. Bye with my little eye, a little toolkit, and a Jamie with a beer. Which must mean one thing. DIY. <laughs> DIY time! honestly so happy with it i feel like it just oh, it looks so festive i literally love this so so much oh, and the christmas tree lights reflection in the cupboard oh i just love it so much i think that just looks so christmasy imagine little christmas baking videos here oh, and making a little hot chocolate oh Oh, look how christmasy it is oh it makes me so happy Let's follow the noise of drilling, shall we? Hey. She's coming up to see what you're up to. A bit more drilling. New TV on the wall. Woo, woo, woo. It's so much bigger than the old one. Wow, oh my God. How much different does it look? Oh, I love how cozy everywhere is. Oh, cute. I literally never, ever, ever want to take these decorations down. Oh, I might just keep them up all year round. I mean, you technically could. Oh, this makes me happy. So cute. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas
Dinner is served. We've got one of my favorites tonight. So these are the Aldi potatoes that I always, always, always go on about. Let me quickly show you which ones I mean. So if you ever see these in Aldi, you need to buy them. They are absolutely incredible. And the best way to actually do them is, don't bother with the microwave, just pop them in the oven but don't cook them whole, like kind of crush them. And then if you leave them in for about 20 minutes, they come out like this and they're just so buttery and herby and delicious. And then I just cook two salmon fillets with lemon juice and pepper in the oven for 25 minutes. And then we've got some samphire, which I boiled and some oven roasted tomatoes. Yummy. Good evening everyone. Oh, another another crazy hairstyle of the day. Honestly, I look like I've been dragged for a hedge backwards. So we've just finished dinner. It was really, really, really yummy. And now Jamie is cleaning up. That's the little deal we've got going on. I cook, he cleans, and that suits me just fine. So I've just come upstairs and just about to jump in the shower, get some nice cozy pajamas on, um, and then we're gonna watch a film in bed. Oh my god, we've got the new TV in here. And look how much bigger it is literally how much better is that cannot wait to watch tv on this i feel really excited about it but like i'm at the cinema now it's so much bigger my loves i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you so so much for watching it's been so lovely to have you with us this weekend as always um like i said the next well pretty much all of my videos in december are gonna be vlogs so yeah really hope you are loving them hope you're having a lovely december so far and i shall see you in the next video night everyone Love you.